Hey everyone, Black Orcaso here. Now, um, it's got a weird angle. Look, hands and light. Yes, uh, I'm going to show you something that I got through the post today, and uh, it, it's an important thing. It's something that I noticed some people don't seem to do reviews of, which is odd. But this is something that's mega important, uh, especially if, like me, you're going to a LAN party. I, as I said before, I'm going to iSeries, so yeah. One thing that's going to happen is my computer gets stay th stays there, and I want to make sure it's safe. How do you do that? Sa make sure that's safe? Well, the best way is to get hold of one of these. And the camera focuses, and yes, it's sideways because camera and weird angle. This is a Kensington lock kit. Okay, this cost me uh, about £20 off Amazon UK uh, with um, free Prime delivery. Now, those of you who never heard of Kensington, Kensington is a locking, it's a standard, uh, industry-wide standard, uh, of a way of locking and securing electronic devices, PCs, monitors, compute, uh, laptops, things like that. Um, this is a complete and utter kit for a desktop system. So, um, I've already cut it open, just so I can get it out, because I was excited when I got it, because I've been waiting for this to arrive. Let's just get rid of the packet. So that goes over to one side, out the way, and let's go through all the bits and pieces you get. So, you got, start off with, your uh, warranty card, instructions, which, to be honest, that's the best thing you do with that, even though it's gone on the floor, and there's probably, you watch it, wait for it, there's missing something I need out of it. You also get your little um, accessories spaggy. Uh, with an alcohol wipe. I'll explain about that in a moment. But this has got your uh, monitor, laptop secure, your anchor point, and this little U-shaped piece of metal, which I'll explain again in a moment. And then this is the Kensington cable. This is a heavy grade uh, steel cable with a rubber coating. You know Actually, let's get rid of this plastic that's around the outside somehow. Hang on, with the key out of the way. And I guess I could just snap that off like so see so yeah, this is a heavy grade steel cable with a lock on the end and now the way this normally works see this little loop here what you do is if you you don't be lamp party and if you can fit the leg through there you can do that or the other way is you thread your cable through the hole once you've put the cable around the leg of the table and then basically your PC is then attached to the table as long as someone doesn't lift the table up too much. This comes with, uh, I think it's eight feet of uh, cable. Might be eight feet, I can't remember exactly. And the way this one works is you get a nice key, uh, this little slotted keyhole, as you can see there. Slot your key in, twist, and then it comes apart. This is the bit you don't want to lose, because that's your lock. And then you have this nice little study bit. Now what happens is, if I take one of these accessories out, just to demonstrate, just to grab one of these doodads. I'll use the locking plate for now. You just go through, <clears throat> you see these have got nice holes in, thread the cable through, after you've obviously already attached the cable to the table, put your lock on the end, push, twist, take the key out, and then as you see, there's no way of getting that off, short of cutting the cable, which if someone's got a cable cutting that can cut through this, that's going to draw attention at a LAN party, let's put it that way. Um, I know some people use these not just for LAN parties as well, though, admittedly, uh, offices use them, I read uh, one guy who uses it in his garage, he has a PC in his garage, he's worried about someone breaking in, uh, so he locks his PC up. So yes, yeah, so that is the cable and locking mechanism. This is a nice, sturdy feeling, strong lock. As I say, some nice, thick, sturdy feeling cable. It's rubber coated. It's kind of like this at the moment, just because moment, just because I haven't. And uh, it's just going to be easier. Now onto the actual accessories. <laughs> so if I put that to one side, the cable accessories. Let's just tip these out. Get rid of the little baggy. Don't lose this because it's useful to keep everything in one place. So, 
first up, you got this bit. Now, this bit is uh, this is what's known as your Kensington T standard lock kind of thing. Um, this is a slightly different style because this is designed to go with the cable. Uh, sometimes you may get devices with just this on bit on and then a um, combination or something on the end and that just goes into your laptop and does it but this is the one that's designed really for computers and what you do is on the back there'll be a little slit um, on new, normally on monitors or on the side of the laptop or back of IMAX things like that uh, you slot the kitty into the slit turn it 90 degrees and once you turn it 90 degrees you slide this bit in so the two little eye holes line up and then slide your cable through there. The idea is then they can't twist it and they can't open it because the cable's gone all the way through. You get two of these in this kit. So, you know, if you've got um, two monitors, you could link them up. Uh, if you could say you've got a monitor and a laptop, you could do it that way. Anything that's got that kind of connection hole on the back, which I'll show you one in a moment on a spare monitor I have, that is how that locks. You then got this, which is the um, sticky plate. Let's put it that way. That's why you have the alcohol wipe. The idea is, if you've got a device that doesn't have a way of securing your Kensington device to it, your Kensington lock to it, what you can do is clean the surface with your alcohol wipe. Then this has basically got like a really sticky pad on the back. You peel this off. Stick it onto the devi uh, device. This could be a printer. Um, it could be certain types of PC cases, whatever. Then leave it for 24 hours. That's the thing they say in instructions. Leave it for 24 hours to make sure that the glue has fully set. Once it's set, it will take some serious amounts of force to get this off, whatever it is. And then, like I showed you before, you just feed the cable through the hole, lock at the end, and it won't come off. So that's kind of good for anything that you can't physically necessarily attach it to. So that's good because you can stick it. You know, this could be, um, I don't know, say for example, um, I'm trying to think now, printers. You know, stick on your printer, you can stick on your speakers, things like that. So that's what that's for, and that's what the little alcohol wipe's for. And then finally, you get this little U shape bracket. Now, the idea of this is, and I'll bring my mouse in to demonstrate. Obviously, you wouldn't have it this close you got your mouse and your keyboard and everything at your LAN party. Feed the cable in between, like so. Then put the locking cable through here. And then this is the wrong size, once the cable's gone through, for a USB head to go through. So therefore, this actually locks your accessories. I might actually have a random USB cable here. Yep, I have. So I'll show you closer up. So you just thread it in. If you look, you can't actually get the USB cable through, no matter which way around you have it. Yes, you can slide it like that, but obviously you'd have your Kensington cable going through that. And that is how you lock your accessories. So I'm going to use that for my mouse, uh, my keyboard, and my headset. One thing I wasn't sure about, and I haven't yet checked, and I'm going to check now. So this could be staying in the video, this could be edited out, I don't know yet. This is the cable for my Black Widow. It's very thick because it's got two audio leads and two USB leads going down it. And tight fit, but it fits nonetheless. So my Black Widow will be nice and secure at iSeries. So yeah, so that is that. That is the Kensington, what do they call it now? The Kensington Desktop and Peripherals Locking Kit. So you can get it for about £20 off Amazon. And £20 is dirt cheap compared to the price of a computer. Now I'm going to just briefly cut for a moment, just whilst I uh, rearrange some bits and pieces to show you how this lock, this bit works properly with the actual locks on the back of the monitors and things like that. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. And <clears throat> as you can see, here is the back side of one of my old monitors. This is my very old monitor, which is now dead. Now, I'll show you the front of it like that. There you go. You can just about see the front. Anyway, on the back of your monitors, you'll normally see a little slot like that one. It has a little K on it. That means that is a Kensington locking hole. What a lot of manufacturers will do will reinforce the area around this bit 
to stop um, Kensington clocks just being ripped out. But as I explained, what you do is you get your Kensington lock, slot it in, twist it 90 degrees, which means you can't just straight pull, and then you slide this little bracket in. When it focuses, there you go, try again. So you put your Kensington lock in, twist, slide that over, and then when that's over and you've got the cable through, you cannot twist. I mean, it can wiggle around, which is not a problem, but it can't actually twist back out again, which means then your monitor's nice and safe and secure and locked to the rest of your computer, which hopefully is then locked to the desk in some way, shape or form. This is a lifesaver. It's a cheer, dirt cheap piece of metal, but it will save your computer a lot. Well, save a lot of money. It should anything well, anyone try and steal anything. So all you need to do is normally look for that little uh, padlock with a K, and that means it's Kensington compatible. So there you go. Very brief video just to go through this brilliant set and uh, highly recommend. Until next time, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.